Hello, everybody. I am FTA. And I'm MBM. And we're uh, very happy to um, introduce you to a new FT Show LP for a uh, kind of, of a favorite game of mine and MBM's over the last couple years. It's DuckTales Remastered. Hells yes. I love all of my Disney video games. I love the Capcom Disney video games. And I absolutely love what WayForward did with probably the best Capcom Disney game. Yeah, yeah, okay, maybe. Yeah, I like Timber Dale, but whatever. It is kind of weird how, like, because uh, nowadays, um, licensed games, especially licensed games based off cartoons, have kind of this, this kind of bad uh, stigma against them, but for some reason, the, the Capcom NES games are all, like, regarded as classics. Oh, they're all fantastic. I think, I think it's because back then, you know, like, Capcom would put in... They won't just put in their B team. What I mean, I, mean, I, I think I just talked about in our Nintendo Fun uh, games and, and stuff like that. But it's just like they put, you know, they put in a Fune, the creator of Mega Man, in charge of Ducktales. So like, obviously, obviously, they, they had kind of high hopes for these games. Yeah, well, to be fair, it's not like they really put 100% of the effort in, because, I mean, if you look at, like, Darkwing Duck, it's literally just Mega Man 6 assets. So it's not like they were putting all of the effort in, but there was some effort. It just, it was more or less whatever, rather than using their B team, they were using their B assets and then just having the A team people work with those assets. And it, and it paid off, because, I mean, I think, like, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of a bad... Disney NES game. Um, I never played. I never played the Tell Spins game, so maybe that one sucks. But I don't know. Those ones are still pretty okay. I think the one that a lot of people disregard the most would probably be Little Mermaid, and that's just more just that people don't know about it. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know there was a uh, Little Mermaid NES game. But as we just talked over, it's the uh, Alan Young is back as Scrooge McDuck. I, I believe he was 93 years old when he recorded this. Yeah, I love how they brought the original cast back. The thing I didn't like was that fans got all pissy saying, he sounds weird. It's like, yeah, well, if you're doing a voice at 93, <laughs> you're not going to sound too good doing it either. So chill the fuck out, nerds. Pretty much. I think everyone who was alive that they brought back, and that includes, you know, Alan Young and Treatment Duck and June Foray, who's 96, who did uh, who we will see later on in the uh, game as Magic Earth Spell. Bless everyone who can't. Like, past 70, if you want me to do a shitty voice, I'm going to be like, go fuck yourself. I'm old. I do what I want. It's just, you know, I want to I wanna say, uh, uh, this is, um, every every once in a while, I, I, I get hit with, with fandom. Just like, I, I, I dislike something for very, very stupid reasons. And the first time I ever saw footage of DuckTales Remastered, I was like, why aren't, why aren't the lips moving when they speak? Why didn't they painstakingly animate every single cutscene? And then after about a minute, I was like, because that would be too much fucking work for a, a kind of fairly cheap downloadable title. You fucking idiot, Gareth. Shut the fuck up and play the game. Plus, ducks don't have lips. Exactly. Why, why aren't the beaks moving, damn it? See, that, that, that works a little bit better there. Um, <laughs> one thing that we should probably note real quick is that... For those of you who have played the NES version of the game, this level should look absolutely unfamiliar because exactly, this yeah. was added to the remake. Uh, with the NES version, it's very Mega Man in the sense that you just pick your level from the get-go, no plot, uh, and you just find money. The, the <laughs> That's literally the plot of the it NES is, game, it is, is it go is find awesome. money. It's, it's Scrooge, Scrooge wants to be richer, go find more shit. So the Way Forward remake tries to add a bit more plot to it, and it gives you this little tutorial level in the Money Vault. And uh, w what's going on here is that the Beagle Boys, again, are deciding to rob Scrooge McDuck, again. And guess what? They're not going to succeed. <laughs> again. That is fucking quo. I, don't, I remember in the cartoon there was like three Beagle Boys in the game. There's like a million of them. Well, there's, like, three personality Beagle Boys, and then, like, I don't know if Beagle Boy is a race, or if... <laughs> okay, dude, like, no, Disney has always been really vague on, like, what's considered a race and what's considered, like, an occupation, but I think the Beagle Boys are more like, I think they're a gang, and, like, just... Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a family. 
Oh, there you go. Like, yeah, it's a crime syndicate family, like actual dealio going on here. I don't. Yeah, know. because in, at least in the cartoon, there, there was a, a mama beagle who was like in charge of, of all of them. Of course, there's a mama beagle. They're like bees. <laughs> One thing that um, I as we saw, I'm playing this on hard mode. I believe on medium or easy. If you press uh, pause, which I, I don't show off, it, it shows you the um the map of the level, the money bin level, the the basic outline of the map is in a is in a big kind of uh, dollar sign, which I I think is actually <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, it's a really good level design there. Um, I believe in the NES you had. It's just two difficulties. It's normal and difficult. No, there's three. This is easy, normal, and uh, yeah, difficult. Yeah, Because easy, easy basically gave you double health. That was it. Yeah, and but there was really no change in it other than how much damage you could take before you lost a life. Hmm. Um. Honestly, the original NES version of the game is pretty bare bones. It's fun. I'm just saying that, like, in terms of options, there's not a lot. Like. You can change very little in terms of the gameplay. Yeah, one one nice thing. I mean, uh, one thing we're hearing now. I'll say the uh, the score to this game is fucking beautiful. I mean, the the, the original NES game had, had an amazing soundtrack, and I believe um, Wave Forward's genius music guy Jake Kaufman, I believe, just does some fucking amazing remixes. He did. He did a really good job. Um, I like how. We're gonna hear later on too is that he starts incorporating tracks into other tracks. Yeah, for for, for some reason, and I, I I blame I blame the internet slash Brento floss for this. Somehow the uh, the moon theme gets um, reused. I mean, in, in, if, if you actually go back and listen to the opening cutscene as uh, Scrooge is driving up to, to the money vault, it plays beats of the moon theme. Like, so, and also they also they also remix it in the um, Himalayas. Yeah. Um, We'll probably get to it later, but the moon's overrated. But that does not mean it is bad. I just think that exactly. Yep, yep, I agree. You know, even even again, we'll get to it more with the moon. But I, I was, I'm, I was even as a kid, I was always a, a more of a Transylvania fan. Yeah, uh, for me, it's Amazon. Amazon's fucking good, but yeah, we'll we'll get to those. <laughs> And the gimmick, too, for this level is uh, saving the nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, all yep. three of those boys. And if, if, if you can't remember who's who, Huey is red, Dewey is Dewey is blue, and, and Louie is green. Yep, and if you can't remember that, Huey is supposed to be the more, like, assertive leader type. Dewey, Dewey is the intellectual, and Louie is the sensitive one. Yep. And, uh... They decided to really accentuate those traits when they made Quack Pack. Quack Pack, yep, yep. Where they actually gave them completely different outfits and they really... The thing is, a lot of people didn't realize is that a lot of people thought with Quack Pack, they just, like, made those personalities, but they were the personalities they already had in DuckTales. They were just, kind, like I said, they kind, just took them yeah. to an extreme. Kind of. I mean, like, I mean, if, if, if you go back and watch the cartoon, like, Huey, Dewey, and Louie—they're kind of practically the same character. Like in the in the original in the original comic stuff, they they were they were more defined, not so much in the cartoon. I say this this re as we're about to hear this remix of the uh, the boss theme. It's one of the greatest pieces of video game music ever. It's so fucking good. I also like how all the work in this boss fight is being done by the butler. I know, right? And is it, what's it saying about society that, I guess, uh, dogs are servient to ducks in the DuckTales universe? I don't know, but I have a better question for you. What race do you believe all of the police officers in Duckburg are? I think he told us, but are they all pigs? They are all <laughs> pigs. Yeah, um, as, as as you just saw, this this is not going to be a uh, flawless run of DuckTales. I I die several times over the course of this game. That's fine, but uh, didn't you mention that there was something going on with uh, some of Scrooge's like hurt animations or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, so at at certain times, I I I will personally get hit just because some of his animations, depending on on the enemies, are hilarious. Like like in, in the Amazon when he gets sucked up by a giant flower. Just the animation is so good that I wanted to show it off. Just shows all of the work way forward came in, but Gareth just had to complain about moving lips. She's one of the fucking a Twitter question now, MBM, is that you saying? Calm it down there, nerd. <laughs> it's just a video game. Chill out. 
Video games are serious business, man. They're art. They are. One thing I, l I like that the in, in the original game, every level had kind of of a kind of a artifact, which was your goal to collect. And I like the fact that in in this game that they not only give explanations as to what they are, like there's also there's also a reason as to why Scrooge wants them all. Which is just, you know, the way, because well, from what I understand, I believe he told me he was just like the way forward creative director and producer who wrote the script to this game. Well, I believe he did, yeah. Because I was, I, was, I, was, I was looking through the um, credits and there's three writers, but I believe they're just all way forward uh, producers. I, I don't believe they brought back either anyone from the cartoon or anyone associated directly with Disney to write the, um, the script. Yeah, that I know they did not do. I just wasn't sure who really did what in terms of the writing. But I do like that they actually clarify a lot about what the items even are. Because yeah. if you play the NES, the uh, cheese, yeah. No <laughs> idea that it was cheese there for a while. Thought it was just like a gold brick. They also uh, kind of fix a plot hole that some people have with the moon level. But when we get to that, we'll... Uh... Explain that. That's oh I mean. no, a plot inconsistency in my NES game. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us for part one of um, Duck Toes and Masters. Please join us for part two where we travel to the Amazon and I'm joined by the great Clement.